I'm Dave Ford and this is the third of a series of screencasts to show how we can use Excel to create a matching pairs exercise. In the previous screencast I showed you how to create this entry grid where you have the list of countries and the students will choose the capitals uh, from a list of options in a drop down box. What we're now going to do is create the mechanism where we check to see how many they have correct. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create an identical sh sheet where we do the checking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the tab at the bottom which I happen to call test and I'm going to go move or copy, tick the box to create a copy and I'm going to move to end. So it's now created me a copy of that sheet. I'm going to rename it to check. You can call it whatever you like but I just happen to make it simple for myself by having test is what the students do and check is where we check the answers. So at the moment it's an identical sheet. What I need to do is I need to get whatever information is on the test sheet to pull through into this check sheet. So I'm going to click in this first box here. I'm going to click on equals. I'm going to go back to test and click on that first box and press enter. So you won't see a difference in the text but all I'm doing now is I'm just changing the formula. If I copy this down it will actually remain the same and if I copy it across, so I'm taking it all across, if I click on the cells here you'll see that that's going to pull whatever information is in the test sheet in cell C5, that's what that formula there is telling me. Similarly, whatever's in the test sheet D5, so it's just going to pull the data through from the test sheet. We're not going to need these boxes here, so I'm just going to um, delete clear the contents of that one and we'll get rid of the formatting later on. Now the clever bit, we need to work out a way of checking if the answers are correct. I'm just going to bring that forward so it's a bit easier to do. And I'm going to use something called an if statement. Now the way that if statements work is we type, a type in equals if and then open bracket. And it will tell you that there are three things that you require. We have to put in a logical test, a comma, and then what to do if the test is true a comma, what to do if the test is false. So my logical test is going to be if that cell there is equal to, and I'm going to go back to my test sheet, and I'm going to scroll down, the top item in the capital list, then that means that it will be correct. So my logical test is if D5 equals test exclamation mark D1, then comma, now what I'm going to do if it's true is I'm going to put the number 1 and if it's false I'm going to put the number 0. Now it takes a bit of practice in if statements but they're the most wonderfully useful things to use. So when I've pressed enter because London is the correct answer it's given me a value of 1. I can now copy this formula down and because they're all correct they should all come out as 1's. I'm going to go back and check it so I'm going to come back to my test sheet I'm going to change Paris to Lisbon and Berlin to Cardiff. Go to check. You can see that Lisbon and Cardiff have now appeared in the list and those ones have changed to noughts. So I've got it correct. I'm then up here going to use a formula of equals sum and I'm then going to total up my answers. So it's telling me how many I've got correct. What I'm then going to do is underneath is I'm going to create a little string to tell me how many I've got correct. So, equals, and I'm going to be clever here and I'm going to use the person's name. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the, the test sheet and click on that cell for the person's name. So I'll pull the person's name through. What I then need to do is use the AND sign, so that's shift and seven. So it's equal to the person's name AND So I'm going to put in a little bit of, of text. You have got okay another and sign. So use and signs to basically join things together. So I'm coming back to my check sheet. So it's that number there. And so that string there is called in the person's name and it's told me how many I've got correct.